Hello and welcome to the Sunken Temple of Delia. A Thief to Vanishin by Cloverloop. Now, this is released for the 2021 Summer Speed Build. Not quite competition, it's more like just an organized reason to build missions because there's no voting or anything. It's just a. Uh, excuse to build small missions in a fixed period of time. Uh, and it was released just yesterday at the time I'm recording this, 15th of August is the date it was released. Uh, and this one is 12th of August. But uh, let's give it a go. I don't know if it has any difficulty differences. Uh, Probably not. Oh, apparently it does. I, I completely forgot to read the briefing, so let's do that. I was contacted by an old associate regarding a potentially lucrative job. He claims to have the drop on the location of the entrance to a long-lost Dielian temple. The Dielia people were an ancient civilization, known to have made great breakthroughs in natural philosophy, which they attributed to their goddess, Dielia, from whom their name derives. Above all else, the Dielia people worshipped time. As such, every Dielian temple holds a sacred hourglass in its sanctum. Very few have ever been recovered, and the ones that have are showcase pieces at major museums. If I can acquire one, my contact is willing to pay me quite a hefty sum. The temple has been abandoned for eons, so I can't imagine this job will be much of a challenge. Nothing I can't handle, I'm sure. Right, you know what? Let's play on expert. Uh, so we get the most expert puzzles possible, because this is a puzzle focus mission. Delia's hourglass is sure to be worth a fortune. Find it and make it yours. Your loot won't do you much good if you're stuck in the temple. Escape the temple with the hourglass once you've acquired it. Alright. Get a save slot happening. Right, we've arrived in the temple. Non non stop textures gives a very different feel. It looks like a pressure plate, right? Earth talisman. Do we want to step on the pressure plate? Sure. Let's just crouch first. I see. Whoops. I could get in there, but I would be stuck not able to get out. I need something to weigh down. Okay. I don't know if it's got traps or if it's just puzzles. I don't even know if it's got enemies. So far, I haven't heard any enemies. Hello. It does have loot. Just to keep an eye open for crystals. Look at this, look at this decadence, look at that, look at how many polygons are wasting on these beautiful curves. It does give a very distinct feel to the architecture, I like it. I say decadence, but of course it's only, only decadent in like uh, 20 years ago terms. Oh. Perhaps it does have enemies after all. Looks like a tree beast statue. There's another. There's another. Oh, I see some small crystal shards down there as well. Let's uh, see if it is just a statue, shall we? Oh. Did that one swabble when I reloaded? Uh, that's moving. This one is also moving. Yeah, that's moving. Ah, that makes me very nervous. But as long as it doesn't chase me, I guess it's okay. 
Maybe it's just the hello. Maybe they're friendly. Maybe they're frozen. Maybe they're not here to uh, kill intruders, but just here to provide decoration. Okay, we've got a flame. Here we are at the bottom of the room. There was one, a bit of crystal up there, but I can't reach it. Hello. Heavy piece of debris. Well, that'll do. I was looking for the crystal, but this rock is too big to carry. We've got one heavy piece of debris. Alright, we got... Oh, what is this? This is obviously a spot for talisman, but I don't know what goes there. Right, let's explore this way. So what's weird is I seem to be moving really slowly. You have a crystal behind you, is that? Is that a problem? Do you mind if I take your crystal here? You don't mind. Oh good, thank you. I mean you're still picking me out a bit, but... Yeah, this is, this is, they've just slowed down my walk speed. This is when I'm actually walking, I mean, slowed down the run speed, this is the run speed. They've, they've just made it so you can't run. Delia's warning. Interlapers to... Uh, interlopers take note for you best beware lest you get entangled within Delia's snare nine rooms in tum blah, blah. interlopers take note for you best beware lest you get entangled within Delia's snare nine rooms in total numbering three by three inside each chamber floats a magic black key to any clever soul who can acquire all nine, the far gate shall open, Delia's blessing thine. At first the task may seem really quite simple, but don't be too hasty, for there is a wrinkle. When from any chamber you have absconded with its key, from whence it came, shall be sealed from thee. Mistakes are quite costly, they cannot be undone, so please don't let carelessness spoil your fun. Think before you act, and plan out your path. Or prepare for an eternity of Delia's wrath. Okay, so... There's a black key, so it says... Right. So we need all nine. And we need to take all nine and get out. But each room will seal behind us as we get out with the key. When we have all nine, we can get in there. All right. Feels like I'm kind of going to want pencil and paper, right? Before we touch any of those, let's go the other way. Let's finish exploring this place. And I have a heavy piece of debris, so I should be able to collect that earth talisman as well. Twitch, twitch. What do we have this way? Oh. Very different uh, construction, different stone. It's nice, it's getting a little monotonous. Aha. Oh, there's a place we can't get to yet. So wait, is it just me or is this torch at an angle? Oh, it's just uh, not quite, the angle doesn't quite match the angle of the wall. Strange going on with the uh, lighting on those walls. Is this doing? Is this teleporting me? This might be teleporting me. <laughs> All right, fine. Some tricks up the sleeve yet that it has not yet revealed. So let's try not to spoil them. 
Ah, ruthless. Problematic. Alright, now how do I get back upstairs? I don't remember. I wish I could run, because I'm just there's a very slow walk speed for just walking across the room. I suppose these guys are probably gonna start hunting me at some point, which is not going to be a fun time. Especially when light and shadow is so vague because of the uh the way the lighting's been set up. Twitch. Uh around the custom light gem, which means I can't read it properly, so if I have to sneak, I'm going to be at a disadvantage. Oh, I have not been through this door either yet. Wait, this I did make that jump, right? I thought I ran to make that jump. So this walk speed, I would not be able to run. I would not be able to... Uh, don't think I'd be able to make that jump, is it? I'm a little confused then. And how would I get... There's, there's, look, there's more loot up there. How do I get that? I need to be able to fly. Entering the vortex room of Geolia's portal chamber. Caution, high wind area. Okay. Is this high wind area because all those statue monsters have been farting in here? Right, let's let's come back to that in a second. We have loot, which we will want. What's down these stairs? Light button. The blessed may clear the way through. Okay, we're not blessed yet, so. Feel like. Oh, this is the keys chamber. Right, so once we get. Once we have the blessing, we can do that to get somewhere, I suppose. What do we got here? Main power control. Warning. Do not touch without the Elia's blessing. Okay. Atrium library. What happens if we touch it without a blessing? <clears throat> Eat the Elia's blessing if you wish to use the portal. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. It hurt. That's probably a bad idea. You know what? I'm just, I did quick save. Did give me a warning, I tried it out of, you know, sheer bloody mindedness. But if things go bad, I might need those hit points. Because I don't have any healing. I don't have any weapons. Alright. So can I make this jump back again? Right, that's that's I'm not able to run. Don't understand what's going wrong with the uh, movement settings, it means I can't run anymore. But I was moving faster than that before. Yeah, okay. Uh bear with me, I'm gonna have to go and try and figure this out. Alright. I can't run. You know why I can't run? Because I'm carrying a heavy piece of debris. I bet I can't throw it either. So... It doesn't look like it'd be that heavy. It's not that large. Unfortunately, they didn't set it up so it lands. That's weird. It's not that large. I wouldn't... 
be, you know, it'd be like 10, 20 kilos, maybe. I shouldn't stop me running, maybe make it harder. I can run now. Whoops, although this edge is very bad for landing on. Right? But now I have a problem, I can't make the jump. And I need to get this over there somehow. I can't, like, jump and toss it. So how am I going to do this? What is that floaty thing? Is that just a light floating in there? Maybe. Same colour as the light crystals. Well... We don't necessarily have to go there yet. Yeah, you know what? Let's just drop it back. So we can run. Let's go back to where the keys were and let's try and solve the key problem and get the other blessing. One problem at a time. We may not need the talisman just yet. At least I'm glad to figure out why I wasn't able to run. I didn't. I didn't notice that the run speed changed when I picked up the, uh, the bit of debris. Right. That is what happens, it's slowing me down. Okay, so... We need to... chart a single course through these rooms that I think will take us... lead us to us ending up in this room so we can go out this gate, right? That's what I believe. It is also possible that we need to do it... get out of... This gate, probably not. So you got a 3x3, three three. you go out of one and it gets sealed off. If we want to end up here, we have to start in one of these corners, and it doesn't matter which because it should be symmetrical. But there's a problem. So let's say we end there. If we start here, then we, the only way we can come is here, right? Now we've got two options. That one, or this one. We take this one so that we get this corner cleared, then we have to come here. And now, whichever of these two I go to next, the other one will become a dead end. So that's no good. Oh, we don't have to take every key as we come to it. Right. We can take the keys in different orders. So, let's take this one and seal it off, right? Then we don't pick up these ones, and we can come and take this one. Yeah, I think I think I've got it. Let's 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 make a save in case we uh, get ourselves locked in and try this. Right, so let's get these two done first. Okay, now we just leave these middle three, and we just take these on here okay and that leaves these three in the middle we can take this one and that one this one and finally the earliest blessing has been bestowed upon you use it wisely the blessing may clear the way through the blessed where did that open? Sounds like I opened something up here. I don't know. That opened... No, it just wasn't the far door there, surely. Right, there's a door. Okay, here, that's still closed. Yeah. Maybe one of these gates in the room was still shut and that was the button opened it? I'm not sure. I 
I didn't check, so maybe that's a mistake. Whatever. Maybe it's irrelevant. Well, now we're blessed, we can use this lever without getting zapped. We can get on this side of the panel. Main power control, okay, we have... Atrium? Or well, library, I see. We are... Very neat. Okay, I need to open this mission up in Dromed to see how they've done that, because that is... That is a pretty convincing uh, portal effect, honestly. I mean, I think it's done by uh, seamless teleporting when we cross this line. I'm not 100% sure, and I probably can't drop anything to find out, right? Or I guess I could drop the, uh, the heavy thing. So this is Atrium, this is where we started. This is how we get the heavy weight. Yeah, this is how we get the heavy weight. Uh, that's the high wind area. Down here was the keys. Let's go get that piece of rubble. We can bring it through there to get it onto the switch and get the talisman. Excellent. And I guess that's also how we get into the libraries, because we can't get through the gate from this side. So, okay. Piece of rubble. My friend's a rock. Actually, it's there. Maybe a piece of crystal hiding under there or something? No. Now I will put up with the slow walking, now I know why I'm walking slow, that's that's perfectly okay. Also slowed down even more by being in water. So I can test my theory, right? Drop the rock. No, the rock is still there. Okay. Uh, notice, oh, look at that. Notice the rock is also being teleported. It's glitching slightly. Yeah. Very good, though. Very good. I, I approve. It's very... Very convincing effect for uh, the Dark Engine, because the Dark Engine did not support portal rendering like this. Very good. Right, let's put it down here for a minute, because I see a piece of crystal up there that I did not get. Can I reach it from here? Oh. Should I be able to stand on that? Well, I can. So I will. Mission notes did say have make sure new mental is on, so I guess that's why. Certainly even without new mental that would not be possible. Alright, oh, this is the bridge. We don't want the bridge, we want to go back the other way from the atrium. To the pressure plate. Oh. Alright, now what we do is we drop the Drop this here. Let's drop it in the light where else here. Now we come back through the portal. Okay, so if we go... Here's my question. If we go to the atrium now... Let's go all the way back. Now I can move faster, so it's, so it's not going to be too long. Does the... Does the portal only work from that side, or does it work from both sides? If you know what I mean. If we go back to the atrium here, which 
Um... Go back to the atrium on this side. Can we get back to the bit where the talisman is or not? I mean, the risk I'm doing is I'll have to make this journey twice. Because the portal is active from both sides, as in it's like a wormhole connecting the two areas. Which you kind of would expect. Shall we save before jumping over the bridge? Slightly uh, too fiddly. Only slightly. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, right, well, we. We can take the library one. That's fine. We'll check out the library in a minute. Let's, let's get this talisman sorted out, right? So, make this journey again. It's fine, it's not. doesn't take very long. You can pass the time by. Singing a song, humming a tune. Dun, 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 dun. Please don't twitch at me, stone tree beasts. You make me creeped out. I, it makes me want to shout. This is a very bad song. But, you know, it's all wrong. I meant to say it's alright, but that wouldn't rhyme. And honestly, the song was pretty much all wrong. Okay. So now the portal should not be here. And that explains why there's room for teleporting me. Yeah, I get it. It's technicality. Cool, so now the portal's no longer active. We can come back here and collect that talisman. Excellent. Talisman of Gravity. Oh. I wonder what that does. Get what was down that way, but let's go with the things we know about. We've got the library to check out, we've got the talisman slot. But I'm not, I don't want to put this in the talisman slot just yet, because I kind of want to know what's up with the door, with the other piece of the door. Right, there's, this is where the talisman goes, and then this is where something else goes. Can I just drop this here? No, I can't. Let's just hold on to it for now. Let's go check out the library. And uh, see what we can learn by reading books. Big library. Hello, is that something on top of the bookcase? <sighs> Am I actually making the jump, Garrett? <sighs> There's something on top of that one. <sighs> Alright, when I press that space bar, you're supposed to jump. Alright, I got it. we got a wormhole normal route alternative route yes that explains the kind of portal things we've got going on there's two books to read the foundation of the general theory of relativity by a einstein and a concise outline of the foundations of hyperbolic geometry by n lobachevsky oh we got a candle okay i don't Hmm, not sure why we need a candle. What was this way? I, I, I... Oh, this is the wind gym. So, this is actually a quicker way to get back. 
Well, kind of. Maybe it's a candle. Maybe we need the candle on Talisman. Didn't look... I mean, if we need a candle, it's gonna be a lit candle, right? No point in having a candle. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. Before I, before I go, I've realized something. Right? I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. Caution, high wind area. The candle has been extinguished, oh no. But, I mean, I could be completely wrong about that thing being a place to put a candle, but it kind of looks like it would fit roughly, maybe? I'm completely guessing. We'll find out. Alright, let's light the candle. And let's see if the candle goes in that slot. does, then we should have a new door here to access. No, the candle does not go there. Where do I need a lit candle then? What happens if I put this here? Half the door is open. Okay. Wait, magic black key. I can't use that there, can I? No. Alright, so I have a lit candle and I have to go the long way around and... Oh no, the water's put the candle out too. Oh dear. How are we going to get a lit candle? To where we need it. I can think of one way. Go the very long way around. I mean, actually, that's a good question. Where do I need the candle? It doesn't go in that holder, right? It's getting it to here. That's the wind room. That's... Maybe we need a lit candle in the library? Oh, there's a book in the, in the bin. Didn't notice that before. Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy by I. Newton. Yes, once you're dealing with uh, wormholes, Newton's theories are slightly insufficient. Right, well, let's go back to the atrium. So, if we come this way, we should be able to get a candle, a lit candle into the library, or something, right? It was this way, I think, to the fire room. Yeah. So this way we don't have to pass the wind room or the leaking water room. Either of which will put our poor little candle out again. And unlike the rubble, we can actually run with this candle. I should have quick saved there, but you know, I was feeling reckless. Okay, so we have a candle here. We can bring it back to the library. Is that relevant? Burn the books! Burn all the books! No, the library does not seem to be where we need the candle. I mean, I don't know where I need a candle. This is just the wind room, right? Yeah, we don't want to, take, we don't want to go in there. Hmm... We go downstairs, we get to the water room. If we go through there, we get to the wind room. This seems to be the room that's hard to get a lit candle to, right? But... Is there anywhere else I could take? I could maybe use it? I guess I keep looking around. That doesn't look like a safe jump to make, right? That piece of loot. I think I need 
something else if I'm going to get that. Um, hmm, what's this? Hanging from there. Maybe there's just... Is that loot up? Is that just more loot up there or is that something more? It's like a chandelier, but that's not a chandelier. This is the wind room. Funny the, light, the candle is not making any light. That's a... Feels like it should have a dynamic light on it. This is the fire room. Yeah, which is all very well. Can we burn these guys? Burn. Burn the... Burn the witch. Well, it's not a witch. It doesn't burn. I didn't see... Right, getting a lit candle there was no trouble. So where do we need the lit candle? I'm just going to run through the water again. And I'm going to put it out. I just want to make sure... I mean, I, I should be able to... I should be able to light it from the torch, but apparently not. Slight oversight in the uh, design there, I think. Where do I go from here? Still use warning, it's just about these rooms, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't drop it again. I was just going to drop it and get it out of my inventory, but I can't. Blessed may clear the way through. Don't know what that's supposed to do. I guess... I was thinking, I guess that just opens these as an emergency, but no. I... I don't know. Maybe it does. In case you grab the first one and back out. Gives you an unlock, maybe. Where do we use this candle? And for what? And what do we put in the other side of that thing? There isn't anything else in here, is there? Not missing anything in any of these window bays, am I? We've got beams up the top, but I can't reach them. Don't have rip arrows or anything. What? Why is why is there even a locked door here? I mean, I guess it's to prevent us getting to the library too soon. Oh, where does this door go when we switch the portal off? If we could open this gate, say, through this lever that I completely overlooked until now. And now we go... I think I've answered my question. And now we go to the library. What's the quickest way there? Down here. Yeah, it's the other side of the water room. So now we get to the library, we can find out where that doorway goes. And I bet that's where we need the candle. Aha! Uh -huh. An unlit brazier. We're gonna need the candle here. Problem... Is the candle is not lit. We can't light it from these torches, so it would be too easy. So uh, it's a little unfortunate in terms of design that they put torches with fire here at the point where this puzzle piece is because if these had been the magical lights it would have been wouldn't have been a you know suggestion that it would let you work around the problem. 
somehow we need to get a lit candle into the library and turn the library portal and have the library portal off so we can get it in here. Easy to get a lit candle into the library. I can't put it back down on the desk, right? It feels slightly like artificial restriction, but that's what we're working with. I can't just bring a lit candle this way. Because it'll get extinguished as soon as we step into this room where all the water's coming in, right? It's just gonna get put out. So... So then... How? With this door open, does it make a difference? We can close it again. For all the good that does. Let's go back to the portal control room. No, I switched the portal to the atrium, right? Let's get the lit candle to the portal control room. Does that help me? Maybe. Uh, it's this way to the fire room, I think. See, there's a small loot up there that uh, we can't reach. All right, so do the jump again successfully. I need to be aiming for the, the sticky outfit rather than the, the whole body of the lad. Okay, so now we have a lit candle. Now I have a lit candle in the library, but I cannot put it down here. How do I switch off this portal from this side? Let's burn Newton's book. So you just like set fire to the books and then pick up the fire from there afterwards. Aha! Yeah! Now, interesting note. The readme did say there are no quick timing, no puzzles where quick timing is needed. I would have called that quick timing because it seemed to have got through only just in time. But that's fine. So the solution seemed to make sense given the time it took to spin down the power. And it works. So if, if I'm doing something wrong, it feels right like the right solution, but if it's the wrong solution, I will have to find out later. Okay, is this the Talisman of Lights? The Talisman of Light and the Talisman of Gravity. Excellent, alright. Oh, my channel's gonna go out again, right? Shame. I wanted it to be an eternal flame in, in honor of my cleverness. of light, tell them of gravity. What do we got here? Take heed, interloper. The guardians of Gilio shall not rest while the hourglass of relativity is held by mortal hands. I mean, the hourglass of relativity is why I'm here, right? Hmm. How do I exit the temple? So all these things are going to wake up as soon as I take it. Tells me I should make a proper save here. Thief! Julia's blessing has been rescinded. May the guardians have mercy on your soul. Oh, if I drop it, they stop again. Interesting. They just freeze. Okay, here's a problem, right? I need to go around there. But 
but they're gonna chase me and kill me. Let's just try running for it. Let's just run for it. It's a bad idea, right? But they can't make the jump, surely. It's a broken bridge. Oh, he didn't see me. Thankfully, he turned around. Oh, alright. He did see me. Let us... Let's just think a little. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get there. some of the loot that seems inaccessible. Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go collect that other piece of loot that I saw before we get the armor class. Because we're definitely not going to be uh, picking up crystals while we're being chased by these things. Is there any in here? No. Forget exactly where it was. Was it in the wind chamber? Oh, no, it's right here. Right ahead of me. Um, well, I can climb up here, right? No. <sighs> and get stuck. It's a little. A little awkward here, but this position has to be exactly right. Hmm. Something seems off about that. Well, okay, I'm just... all right. Get around this side. I'm not actually stuck anymore. Well, the jump is a problem. Feels like I'm doing this wrong. It feels all sorts of awkward. But I can crouch and stand. So I should... Get that. Okay. Now, up on top of this thing. Now, let's go from this side. One of them. Whoop, sorry mate, I didn't mean to land on your head. Hope you won't hold it against me. Again. Alright, there we are. Okay, I think that's all... All the loot I need. I mean, there's all the loot I've seen lying around. I haven't noticed any other crystals I can get to, so maybe it's not all the loot, but let's just assume for the moment that it is. I'm sure I missed something. I always do. Alright, so let's save. suspicious of something. I think he saw me. Okay, looks like the path to the bridge is clear. Run! 
Garrett, run. Aha! Take that. I didn't leave the atrium portal open today. If I left the atrium portal open, then I'm gonna be in trouble. No, thank goodness it's not open. Oh. I... But what, is there an exit? Alright, we just get back here where we start. Mission complete! Alright. Found, yeah, I missed 150. I think that's one crystal. I think they're 150 each. I missed one secret. Alright, there's, there's stuff for me to go back and look for in my own time. But, uh, that was the Sunken Temple of Delia. And, uh, very small mission because, again, it was made for the speed build. And the primary purpose of it is to demonstrate the uh, portal tech, really. But it's, it's nice. A nice little puzzle mission. Excellent. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next mission.